and then I will go with router number one this is the router one and in router one you have this IP addressing scheme okay so now if you look for topology if you look for the router one for router one perspective it has one EBGP neighbor and the rest is all IBGP neighbor and router one will be act as a root reflector uh, in this topology so go with BGP configuration in router one so start bgp process by using the command router bgp one two three four so bgp process is on now for router one perspective it is making the ebgp neighbor towards router number 12 with their ip address 10 dot 10 dot this one 10.10.1112.12 with the remote AS number remote AS number 12 and if AS number 12 is configured I'm expecting neighborship so you can see the BGP neighborship is up that means AS number 12 is configured with the required configurations now in router 1 I have one two three and four clients four out of one perspective so the first command i'm using here neighbor neighbor and see uh, rather than configuring uh, the commands on neighbor directly i'm using the peer group i will explain what is a peer group concept but here it is better to configure configuration using the peer group so I will say neighbor IBGP this is the name and neighbor I'm saying neighbor and this is the name of the neighbor it could be any meaningful name here because it is making the session with IBGP so this one is a peer group now all the meaningful commands I will set to this IBGP name for example remote AS number one two three four first command second command I need because I want to make session with loopback interface so update source loopback zero and the third command I need because this router is act as a root reflector so I will say a root reflector client so far do show run section router bgp so here bgp peer group concept is used to minimize uh, memory overhead memory space memory consumption so here what i am saying i am creating this group with the name ibgp and then all the required commands i am setting on this this group now i will say neighbor 10.10.7.7 I will say this is the member of peer group name IBGP is the server the one of the 12 or is it the which IP is this supposed to be yeah so see uh, all router is configured with their loopback interface for, the, for example it is router 7 yeah. router 7 have 10.10.7.7 10.10.2.2, 10.10.4.4, their loopback interfaces, and all is reachable through the OSPF. Yeah. So here, second neighbor I have 10.10, .10, 10 
uh, 2.2 peer group is IBGP third one I have 10.10 .10, uh, it is 3 3 3 3 peer group IBGP and next one is 4 4.4 peer group IBGP so root reflector configuration is done on R1 minimum configuration and here this is what I did I create a peer group and then all these are the member of this peer group and peer group is using the root reflector client that means this is the root reflector next I will go to now rest of the member I will go to 7 first and we'll say 7 on router 7 let me check I'm running the BGP process or not show run section router BGP it is not running BGP process so start BGP process router BGP 1 2 3 one two three four it has one ebgp neighbor which is connection is going to eight it will be 78.8 .8. so 10 dot 10 dot 78.8 dot .8 with the remote as number eight if the router eight is configured you can see adjacency is up then i have uh, the which is one no it is not connected with yeah yes, yes yes sure this is my IBGP neighbor 10.10.1.1 remote AS 1.2.3.4 since this is the IBGP neighbor I also need next hope self command next hope self command second IBGP neighbor I have 10.10. .10 79.9 .9, and the remote AS number is 9 and that is also configured with the yeah, updates yeah. then so so far I'm not configuring auto 2 as a second root reflector first I will configure first and go for second so then router 2 router 2 is only making session with with ebgp neighbor which is router number 10 and IBGP neighbor which is R1 start BGP process router BGP 1 2 3 4 and the link connecting to router number 10 is using the IP address this one let me ping 10.10.102.10 10 it is reachable I will say neighbor 10.10.102.10 10 remote AS number 11 10 it will see the neighborship within 30 seconds should be up second neighbor I have 10.10.1.1 10 remote AS number 123 okay and next hop self router 2 is done then go to router number 3 same thing EBGP neighbor IBGP neighbor and it has a 2 EBGP neighbor yeah. router number 3 start BGP process router bgp1234 to show ip interface brief neighbor 10.10 35.5 this is the ebgp neighbor going to 56 neighbor 10.10 10, 
it is uh, one two one two three dot twelve remote as number twelve this is the ebgp session going to as number twelve and then i have ibgp neighbor which is one dot one remote as number one two three four and since this is also the edge router so i also need next of self here so our r3 configuration is done similarly r4 it also have same thing two ebgp neighbor one one is ibgp neighbor the start bgp process router bgp one two three four and neighbor then dot then dot uh, it is 46 dot six the remote as number five six this is first ebgp neighbor second will be to show ip interface brief interface brief it will be 114.11 expected ip addressing scheme 11 a remote AS number 110 because uh, that uh, that autonomous system is not configured so you will not expect any neighborship there so far what I have now um, two dots. and one two three four four is making session with IBGP and next hop self okay so now router one perspective it is expecting how many neighbor four ibgp neighbor and one ebgp neighbor yeah i will go with r1 and we'll see show ip bgp summary and i can see i have neighborship with two three four and seven. seven these are all my ibgp neighbor and this one is the ebgp neighbor i'm also learning some prefixes from these neighbor so now um, if you see the topology let us assume that what is announced by the as number eight and nine i can see in r7 in the first place and i can use the command show ip bgp here so AS number 8 is originating this update 172.16.1.0 so this update is advertised by the AS number 8 I will take this update and show IP BGP 172.16.1.0 you can see this is the EBGP update which is advertised by the AS number 8 and the next stop is 78.8 that one is the router ID of the uh, the router from where you're getting update now the same uh, if i go with the routers if you see the topology eight sending update to seven seven will send to a root reflector so i will go to the router one and we'll check the same update show ip bgp 172 16 what was the name of the update 3.0 this will say uh, this will say received from a root reflector client okay this is the next stop IP metric is 2 this is the IGP metric copy in med metric from neighbor and the router ID is also same this is valid internal and best the key point is the key point is this one is received from received from client right so now router one is receiving this from from r7 i will go to router number two and we'll see this update so what are you expecting you will see the cluster list and originator id which is injected by the root reflector so show ip bgp 10.172 no, 
2.16.3.0 here you can see cluster list 10.10.1.1 which is by default router ID of the R1 and the originator which is the uh, the router which is originating this update in the first place so if I go to uh, router number 3 I will see the same update and router number 4 same update so 4 and show IP BGP then uh, not 10 it's 172.16.3.0 so originate by 7.7 .7 and reflected by this 10.10.1.1 so all the uh, router within the thermal system is getting this update and 4 will send to upstream AS number in this case if I go to router number 5 so 5 will also see this update show IP VGP and the update number this one all this update is available the update is uh, the originate by the AS number 8 and the recent update is coming from 1 2 3 4 that means if if I want to ping and assuming that router 5 is also advertising uh, yes it is advertising this number so if I take this number as a source the destination is three dot uh, three dot number let's say it should be three dot expected it should be seven but let me check with this this number and go to let's go to r8 and we'll see show IP interface brief 1 so 3.1 go to R5 and send this traffic with 3.1 from the source address so you have reachability right so if you do the trace route um, to the same address 3.1 sourcing from 10.10.5.5 so <laughs> you have also full reachability it is going to router number 3 3 to 1 1 to 7 and then reaching to final destinations everything is good right no problem here now if I send continuous ping 172.16 okay and 3.1 with the source address is 10.10.5.5 with the high repeat count this number right and then I will go to router 1 and shut down all the link connected with R1 and we'll see that what will happen so BGP see one of the advantages of the BGP because it is taking long time to converge it will also reflect this update after a long time and you will see that everything is fine even though the root reflector is yeah. is down but after some time you will see that you are not getting any communication and user will start complaining so here on r1 i will say i will say here there is interface gig 0 uh, 0 to 3 and then loopback interface so interface range gig 0 iPhone 3 comma loopback 0 interface and we'll say shut down <coughs> all link is down so OSPF neighbor is down BGP neighborship will be down everything will be down and I will go to R5 right now you can see there is some problem here but suddenly it will start or resume communication and how it will resume it says because 5 is connecting to 3 3 have also connection to 4 
4 to 2 and traffic should go via 7 and then go to 8 and I'm hoping that this traffic is resume again right this is resuming resuming even though cluster is is in shutdown state because BGP will take long time to reflect the changes and here if I go to R1 and we'll say clear IP BGP this is the hard reset clear IP BGP star so now it is declaring neighborship in down state and we'll see that what will happen here or do do I need second RR in this topology or is it is it okay with single RR yeah, so here and see again uh, if you once again look for topology 5 sending traffic to 3 and let me go to router number 6 go to router number 6 here close this router number 6 and from here do the trace route and we'll check which way traffic is trace route to 10 dot 10 dot not 10 it's 172 16 3 dot 1 it says I cannot reach what happens 5 source one packet is lost I need to be used source yes so let me check what I have advertised in R6 the source one is 6.6 .6. So this network is advertised. So ping 172 16 not ping. Yeah, first check ping 3.1 sourcing from 10.10.6.6. .10 it says I cannot ping. And 3.1 is still available. five case yes so it's start now to stop communication and this is because of you don't have any high, avail high availability for a root reflector deployment uh, this is infinite so that means now here if I resume communication interface range and say no shutdown it will once again first build OSPF neighborship then BGP neighborship the moment it will receive the moment it will receive the update it will start once again communicating with this destination network but we have seen that if there is no second RR and that RR is down then there is no high availability and all traffic will be lost. So here I need high availability for high availability perspective I am picking up the second router as a RR also. Same configuration like similar to R1. So start this I would say router BGP 1, 2, 3, 4 and I will say here peer group neighbor IBGP peer group neighbor uh, IBGP remote AS number one two three four okay neighbor IBGP update source look back zero neighbor IBGP root reflector root reflector client and now say the neighbor is the client is 7.7 .7 peer group IBGP this is case sensitive IBGP second neighbor I have 
2 to 1 third neighbor I have 3 dot 3 and fourth neighbor I have 4 dot 4 so now I expecting in router 2 perspective 1 2 3 4 4 IBGP neighbor and 1 EBGP neighbor show IP BGP summary it says I'm in idle state and why it is in idle state I can ping I can ping I can ping okay so you can ping show run section router BGP I'm using the update source loopback 0 and show IP interface brief loopback 0 meaning 10.2.2 which is fine what I'm missing here neighbor this is fine one two three four load reflector IBGP everything is fine right so what is why it is not deducting neighborship or BGP one two three four let me check show why it is in idle state show IPBGP neighbor 1.1 1 1. it says BGP neighbor session is established what it, it was taking time I IP summary okay it's, it has session with 1.1 one dot one yeah. well, it doesn't have a session with the rest. rest of the client ah because rest of the client is not pointing back to this yes <laughs> so go to 7 first go to 7 because 7 is now have connection to second RR. So go back to here. Router BGP 1234. 10.10.2.2. Remote S number 1234. The next stop self. This is done. Similarly, go to router number 4. Say router BGP one two three four neighbor ten dot ten dot two dot two remote as number one two three four and next top self four is done go to three router BGP one two three four neighbor 10.10.2.2 .10 .2 .2. remote as number 1234 next op self so now if you go back to router number 2 and is anything is missing 4.4 yes no 4.4 is okay you have idle statement this is fine because it is not this AS is not configured yet but you can see all this neighbor is up yeah. now if you see the same update which is earlier we have seen show IP BGP 172.16.3.1 now you can see this update is advertised by 
this is the client number one yeah. and that one is the client number two which is also a root reflector but this is not a root reflector this is your this is only the client but since rr is also client of each other so when rr sending this update it also injecting their own id as a cluster list dot id okay and if i go back to r1 for r1 perspective show ip bgp 172.16.3.1 this update is also reflected via this router number 2 right yeah. so what i want i want to remove this overhead this is the duplicate processing is happening yeah. so in order to do this i will go with r1 and r2 bgp configuration and we'll say bgp cluster id and i will share this as a common value 12 the same command i will set on router number 2 router bgp 1234 and bgp cluster id 12 so once i do this once again they will converge and here it seems like cluster id is okay 13.1 maybe router id is change on r1 so now if i see show ip bgp 172.16.3.1 i have only one update which is from client for r1 perspective once again using the same command you have only one update which is coming from client only but if you see router 4 and 3 they will see Two entry for the same update, so route number three, but with the same cluster ID. Show IP BGP three dot one. See, cluster list is common, yeah. but router ID is different. Yeah. So for client, other client perspective, there is no difference. but now root reflector is not processing the duplicate update okay. so now we have high availability also go back to r5 is still communicating hmm. okay and then i will go back to once again r1 sure. shut down those link so the interface range shut down and then we we'll say clear ip bgp star i also will say on r3 clear ip bgp clear ip bgp star say the neighbor um in after the two no is only all family so ip version 4 in cast but it's, it's not asking for ip address so i will say clear session to all so it is going to be reset and go back to 5 the session is reset notification is received i will check on Route number six. That which way traffic is going through, and trace route. One seventy two sixteen three dot one. Sourcing from ten dot ten six dot six. Tracing to the route.
We are going to the first hop 46.4. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is almost complete. So next we'll do uh, tomorrow morning, right? Yeah, sure. So once we do this test, small test. Okay. okay. So it is going to uh, four, four two, two, twenty-four dot two, and then. So it is reaching right. Seven, seven, Twenty-seven dot seven, seventy-eight dot eight, and for R five perspective, you still have communication. You still have communication, and and because all the link of R one is down. But still have a second root reflector is available. So this time you will not get any problem with the high uh, with the, uh, the communication because R5 still have a connection through this. This way it can go send traffic to destination. R6. Yeah, because R6 is it can send traffic to three, three to four, four to two, and. You shut down 2 to 7. On R3. No, I have not shut down the link on R3. Link is only shut down on R1. Okay. This is the root reflector. Okay. So 5 can send to 3, 3 can send to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 7. So if I stop this and we'll check the trace route 172, 16, 3 dot 1, sourcing from 5 dot five see five to four four to two two to two to seven and then seven to eight so this one is the high availability solution with a root reflector okay so the next tomorrow morning i will go with aggregation first aggregation lab and then bgp confederation then we discuss the optimization solution in bgp so tomorrow almost a bgp will be complete yeah. and almost not almost bgp will be complete tomorrow so the final component is left is bgp optimization okay. but here i can stop this so this is part one this is part one this is part one, one. one. Mm -hmm.